People expected a short fight, but Jameson's bear-like stature and fighting experience proved to be a serious challenge for the Dynamite Kid. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Atlantic City. I'm Ken Wilson, and tonight we are going to watch the very exciting Mike Tyson. And with us, our boxing analyst, the man who knows this game inside and out, Murray Sutherland, who is the reigning USBA super middleweight champion. And Murray, as we get ready for this big fight, there are many who are predicting that Mike Tyson will be the next heavyweight champion. Yes, that's true. Mike is a ray of sunshine coming to the heavyweight division in a division which is sadly lacking exciting opponents. There's a great need for someone that, with the explosive punching power that Mike possesses to bring back some of that excitement that's been missing in the division for a long, long time, since the days of George Foreman and Joe Frazier and guys like Sonny Liston. So hopefully Mike just might be that person. We'll just have to wait and see. And as much as the 11-month career of Mike Tyson reads like a brilliant storybook, the career of his challenger, 31-year-old Mike Jamison, is virtually unpublished. In fact, Jamison's career has basically been with fights out in California. Murray, I wonder, does he really even have a chance of surviving an early round here tonight? I really don't see the fight going too long. Can. I think me, the main thing is Tyson has accepted this fight in preparation for his next big fight, which is, I think, already signed against Carol the Truth Williams. And as you know, Carol Williams went 15 rounds with the ex heavyweight champion Larry Holmes. So that will be his first major test. The heavyweights are ready. 12 of Mike Tyson's 16 fights have ended in the first round. Let's go to our ring announcer, Ed Darian. From the Trump Casino Hotel here in the boxing capital of the world of Atlantic City, New Jersey, HBA, Josephine Abercrombie and Jeff Levine Promoters and Ron Catch Matchmaker in association with Anheuser-Busch and the Trump Casino Hotel proudly present Friday Night Ringside is approved and sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Larry Hazard, Acting Commissioner, Nick D. Balistrieri, Deputy Commissioner. The Chief Physician in attendance at ringside this evening is Dr. Stanley P. Rogers, along with his fine colleague, Dr. Ronald Wood. The judges, Phil Newman, John Stewart, and Tommy Kazmarek. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Joe O'Neill. The timekeeper to bell is Lindsay Tucker. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled eight-round heavyweight bout, referee Joe Cortez. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First in the blue corner, wearing the green trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at 236 and one quarter pounds. This gentleman has 17 wins, nine losses with eight knockouts. All the way from San Jose, California. Boxing fans, here is Irish Michael Jamison. Jamison. And his opponent in the red corner wearing the solid black trunks. He weighed in at an even 215 pounds. This young man is undefeated in 16 professional bouts with 16 straight knockouts from Catskill, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mike Tyson. Tyson. Tyson only 19, Jameson the veteran, a huge height and weight advantage and a two inch reach advantage for Jameson. Mike Tyson is the story. The young man originally from Brooklyn, product of a troubled childhood, now on the verge of becoming a world class man. Don't blink, this is round number one. That's, that's the word to use, Ken. I don't think there's going to be too much of a feeling out process, so to speak, in this fight. Tyson is noted for his very vicious quick starts, and he has set the pace right, up, right from the word go. Mike Tyson is a finisher. He's established that early in his career. 
He started to fight off with some wicked right punches and left hooks to the body, which seems to be his trademark. People have compared his punching power to guys like George Foreman and Joe Frazier saying he punches the same, but he's so much faster. It could be over early. As we pointed out, 12 of his 16 pro fights have ended in the very first round. Tyson's longest fight, a fourth round KO of Don Helpin in his third pro fight. Remember, he's been a pro for only 11 months. Yeah, Ken, he has a long, long road ahead of him. He is a young, strong kid. He does, as they say, have a lot to learn, but he's got plenty of time. Round number one. Jameson is uh, doing what I think he has to do, and that's keep on the move. Keep uh, Tyson off balance, and don't lay on those ropes and let him get set up for those wicked punches he throws. He's connecting very well, though, with some good body shots, hard body shots. Jameson's tying him up pretty effectively, tying his punches up in close, not allowing, not allowing Tyson to get off of these punches. Mike Jameson in the green, you look at him, he's done what a lot of fighters have been unable to do against Mike Tyson. He's lasted a minute and 45 seconds. Jameson's hands seem to be dropping rather fast, though. He is, he's a little bit concerned about those hard body punches, and as you see now, his, his, both his hands are down by chest level, and that's just the opening I think Tyson's waiting for. Tyson fought just 13 days ago, and he had a first-round knockout of Dave Jacko. His next fight, February 16th, against Carl The Truth Williams in Troy, New York. And that really will be the first big test for Mike Tyson. This is the first round. He's trying to finish off Mike Jamison. Tyson connected with a, a good right hand there, and he immediately come back with a good left hook to the body. That's a very good sign that this young fighter is learning what his trainers are telling him. Don't go head hunting. When you connect with that head punch, go right to the body. Jamison now within 15 seconds of surviving the first round. Will he survive? We'll stay here at the end of round number one. Mike Tyson in the black trunks figures to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson. He's Sorry, after him. And that's the end of round number one. Mike Jamison will tell his grandchildren he survived a round against Mike Tyson. I want a good, clean heart fight. Set now for round number two. Mike Tyson takes a quick left from Jameson. Yeah, Jameson, he's, I think his corners told him, hey man, you've got the reach, why don't you use it? Get that left jab out and keep this little guy off you. He Here did. comes Tyson. Jameson battling back right above us here in Atlantic City. Ooh, a right connects to Tyson. One thing about Tyson, he has really not been tested in his career. A lot of the, uh, so to speak, boxing experts are, are wondering, now what happens when this young kid that can punch so hard hits someone and they're still standing there and comes back and hits them back? Is he going to be discouraged or what? This is what experience will tell. Everybody's yet to find this out. Approaching the one minute mark in the second round. Of course, we say Tyson hasn't been tested, certainly not as a pro. As an amateur, he lost to 1984 Olympic gold medalist Henry Tillman. That took away his opportunity to compete in the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles. Jameson has, has, sub sub has suffered a cut over his left eye. He has a pretty bad cut just over the left eye. It's in a very bad position because if it starts bleeding profusely, it's going to go in the eye and it's going to affect his vision. Uh, I think it was opened with some of those nice uppercuts that uh, Tyson's been throwing when he gets close to him. Quite a contrast in conditioning here. Tyson superbly conditioned. Tyson does not have that extreme height. He's 5'11", has the huge neck, 19 and 3 quarter inches. Tyson, the strong left to Jameson in round number two. 
Tyson is showing some, showing me at least some tremendous power. His opponent weighs 236 pounds, and he is just pushing this big guy all over the ring, pushing him away, maneuvering him from, maneuvering him into positions where he wants him to be, so as he can land the best punches. He's showing me some tremendous strength in there. And the blood on the face of Mike Jameson, very evident here in the second round. Jameson this morning had a full beard. He was informed by the boxing folks here in New Jersey that that would have to disappear, and it has. Good right hand landed there, and if, as you've seen, Jameson shook his head as if to say, no, nope, he didn't hurt me, but 99% of the time it did hurt him. The left, the right to the side, late in the second round. Referee Joe Cortez breaking up the fighters. And Tyson just keeps coming at Mike Jamison. Mike Jamison comes out swinging against Mike Tyson. The third round. Tyson as a pro has rarely seen the third round. I think Mike Tyson doesn't know the word back up. He has not taken one backward step in this fight. He has been continually pushing forward, pushing the fight, setting the, his type of pace. Tyson very, very dedicated. Vicious right hand just landed there from Mike Tyson. Jameson grabbed him, held on to him, cleared his head a little bit. A little bit of experience is starting to show here. Jameson, he knows what to do when he gets hurt. He's done quite a bit of clutching and grabbing in the first three rounds. And if you were in that position, that would be a pretty good philosophy. You see the low blow, and Tyson gets a warning, and Jameson let everyone know that he'd been hit below the belt. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a little bit showmanship there, but as you heard the, the response from the crowd, we've got a very pro Tyson crowd here. They showed their disrespect for the, what the uh, judge's decision there. Again, Tyson just continues to bang to those ribs. It is a pro Mike Tyson boxing world here in the first month of 1986. They're hungry for a new heavyweight for someone who is as aggressive as Mike Tyson. And he certainly is showing what has gotten him to a 16-0 record here tonight in the early rounds against an outmatched Mike Jameson. A lot of holding going on, going on right now, Ken. The uh, Jameson's starting to feel the effects of those big punches, such as that good right hand that's snuck in there. And he's starting to hold on, buy some time, clear his head. This is where the experience comes in. This is what Mike Tyson is going to have to learn to do. There was a very quick round. Now, round number four, as we mentioned, Tyson only once has been taken as far as the fourth round. That was in his third fight as a pro. This is his 17th fight. You, you, I... I caught just when Jameson went into that clinch there. He's six foot four, yet he dropped his head really low and clashed heads with Mike Tyson. The referee picked it up, thinking that Jameson's intentionally trying to butt Tyson and give him the warning. This is this is all experience. This is what having 31 pro went pro fights does for you. You learn all these little tricks. Tyson getting tested more tonight than he usually has been and knows that Charles the Truth Williams in mid-February will test him even further. Yes, this, this will be a good tune-up fight for him. The longer it goes, the more he learns. You learn everything, you learn things from every fight that you fight in. Mike Tyson takes two steps forward. Let's go with a couple of lefts. Now a right, a left. He's got him down. Mike Tyson sends Mike Jameson to the mat here in round number four and very quickly Jameson gets up shakes his head Joe Cortez right there the referee and Jameson wants to continue watch the quick flurries that Tyson throws Ken he throws flurries and punches like a welterweight it's very seldom you see a heavyweight throw a combination of five and six punches but Mike Tyson does it here he is again the word explosive really not enough to describe the punches of Mike Tyson at age 19, trying to extend his record to 17 and all. Mike 
Tyson's been noted for his finishes. They say that once he gets a guy hurt, he knows how to get him out of there, and he's going about it the right way. Here he comes, Tyson, who wants to be a finisher like Ray Leonard, Ray Robinson, and Joe Lewis, trying to finish Mike Jamison here in the fourth round in Atlantic City. extremely unique position for young Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson landed an explosive left hook there as he jumped in. I really don't know what's keeping Jameson on his feet. He just, he's just one tough customer. The last half minute of the fourth round, Don Halpin took Tyson into the fourth round before he was KO'd in Tyson's third pro fight. Now, Jamison trying to extend Tyson to the fifth round here tonight. Here we have the knockdown, Ken. You see the explosive punches he pulls. A flurry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight punches. You don't see that in heavyweight divisions. That, the knockdown in the fourth round. This is live action in round five. Mike Jamison, the 31-year-old from Cupertino, California, near San Jose. Mike Tyson, Sports Illustrated cover boy, trying to end it here in round number five. Jamison is doing at this point what I think he should have been doing from the first goal. He just took a right He's hand to down, the top of the head. Down to one knee, Jamison. Joe Cortez, the referee with a count, and Jamison suffering his second knockdown here in the fifth round, back up in the corner. And one thing, he's a showman. Jamison wants to continue. Referee Joe Cortez says no. Jamison says he wants to go on, but the referee Joe Cortez says it is over here in the fifth round with a knockout. The knockdown, and Mike Tyson is a winner again. His record goes to 17 and 0. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Cortez stops this bout at 46 seconds of the fifth round, and a winner by a TKO for his 17th straight win in as many pro bouts, Mike Tyson. Tyson. The winner tonight in Atlantic City in the fifth round, Mike Tyson. You finally got stretched to the fifth round. Well, like I told you, I could go to fifth round with no problem. Even with the handicap, I never brought the excuse that I had bronchitis or anything, but I never was feeling negative about going 10 or 12 or 15 rounds. You now face Carl the Truth Williams near your hometown, Troy, New York, on the 16th of February. On the contrary, I fight Jesse Ferguson, the ESPN champion. You're going to fight all the time, everybody. That's right. That's what I'm in the business for. When, when are you going to get to Carl the Truth Williams? Well, you have to talk to my manager, Bill Caton. He can give you more information on that than I could. So you're 17-0. Marciano started his illustrious career going 16-0. Does that mean something to you? You're a history buff in this game. Well, really, it doesn't mean anything because he started the record and he's the king you can't take nothing away from him you can't take anything away from somebody that originated something what's new about Thank you very much. Mike Tyson as Mike Jamison comes over he put up quite a fight tonight tell us about Jamison compared to your other fighters in the ring in your 17 well, bout pro you career. know he's a veteran he was tough he went decision with um, Randall Tex Cobb, Michael Dokes. Recently just fought Michael Dokes and went 10 rounds. I lost a split decision with him. And I came up here and he did his best. He was holding a little bit. He made the fights, to my opinion, lackluster, very little. But I knew in due time we had 10 long rounds and eventually I would catch him. Mike, the boxing world clearly excited about you. In your mind, what's new and different about Mike Tyson? What do you bring to this game? I, I couldn't tell you, you know. I used to come in here, I do my best and gain respect from, every, from everyone. And that's all I can do. I can do my best. And people appreciate it with the best that I do. And I guess that tells its own story. You mentioned bronchitis. Yeah, I have bronchitis, but there's no bit, there's no, nothing to explain about. This is a business. Plus, I love to fight. 
and I can't hold any explain. Fighters won titles with broken arms, one eye, and I can't complain about a little bronchitis. You look good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's go now and look again at the fifth and final round of Mike Tyson's victory tonight. Tyson on the right in the black trunks. Tonight, he spent more time in the ring than he had in his previous 10 fights. He had knocked Mike Jamison of Cupertino, California down in the fourth round. This is the fifth round knockout. Yeah, at this point, Jamison, I think, had just about enough he wanted to do. You can see the referee, Joey Cortez, ask him two, three, four times, are you okay? Do you want to continue? He didn't get the response that he was wanting. So by New Jersey state laws, he's got to stop that fight. Here we see the knockdown again. A good flurry of punches. That right hand that came over the top and caught him high up on the left side of the temple was the punch that hurt him. Here we see it from another angle. Good left hook, backs him into the ropes. Jameson covers up pretty well, but Tyson seems to throw those fast, fast flurries that you see in lower weight divisions, and that's what really took the, took the toll. Mike Tyson a winner, and now the question is, how many big fights will he have in the future and really have some challenges? Only time will tell. Tyson's path of destruction left the boxing world in awe and the crowds crying out for more. His next scheduled fight would be his first nationally televised and his greatest challenge to date. Nowhere to hide on the next Tyson Raw and Uncut. Mike Tyson! I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time.